Hello and welcome back to On The Workbench. Today we're going to be taking a look at the US General Magnetic Hook. This was picked up recently as, we'll call it an impulse buy from Harbor Freight. I thought this was kind of neat. They've got these in all their assorted colors. I'd go match their toolboxes. I don't have a US General toolbox. I've got a set of toolboxes from Menards, uh, but they are in red. I know they're no longer sold in red, but I've got red. And so I'm a sucker for making things look good uh, in my work area. And so I picked this up, like I said, as an impulse buy, uh, less than 10 bucks for a magnetic hook. A little bit pricey, but hopefully it looks good and looks nice. So this claims that it'll hold up to 25 pounds and we've got about two and a half inches to work with here. So I couldn't find a lot of other information about this other than what's on the Harbor Freight website. So let's go ahead and get this out of the packaging, which is proving more difficult than I expected. So now with this in my hand, what I see on the back side here is there's a nice rubber backing to this magnet. However, it does feel like it will peel off here, as you can see already that this is kind of peeling up here. But this should help keep you from prevent, uh, but this should help keep you from damaging the finish on your toolbox. With this out of the package, let's take a couple of quick measurements. The diameter of the base up here is checking in at call it two and a quarter inches around, which matches what it was advertised as being. The hook here, if you will, has a shank height of about an inch and a quarter, give or take. And then the thickness of how much you can fit in here, let's cut an inch off this tape, is gonna be maybe just a little under seven eighths of an inch. Uh, for how much you can fit in between the two parts of the hook. It would be nice if the top of this hook were rounded off here a little bit more, but I'm not sure if that's that big of a deal because this does go flush up um, and gives you that little extra depth there. Um, so depending on what you're planning to put on here, uh, that may or may not matter. Obviously, you could also remove the hook altogether and then use just the, the red magnet on here for any other creation or idea that you've got uh, that you want to attach to this and then re-anchor down with that bolt. So really, you could use this for a lot of other purposes besides just what it's intended for out of the box. Uh, your mind has a limit on what you want to do with it, and especially since you can get these in all the assorted colors that you could have all sorts of fun for maybe some other games, board games, or something else that you might want something magnetic for. But the big wink link here that I can see immediately is this back, is this back mat here is already peeling and I just opened this out of the package a few moments ago. But if the hook's gonna remain stationary in place, you should have no problem um, for using it for whatever you wanna hang on it. It's rated for 25 pounds. I don't have an easy scale to test that, but it should easily hold from what I'm feeling uh, with this. Just for another idea, what you could use this for in theory, I've got one of these Harbor Freight magnetic bars back from when they were free. I bought a couple of these other magnets put through, bolted them up so I could hold my precision screwdrivers on there. If I was feeling a little more OCD, I could replace those chrome ones with these red ones. Um, although I'm not sure that the bolt size would work through there, um, but you could modify that to make it work so you'd have the red bolts with the black bar on your toolbox. Lots of options where you could use this. Um, I think this little a uh, magnetic bar here from Harbor Freight works great for holding these precision screwdrivers. Because of the way this hook is on here with this bend, there's gonna be some things this won't be able to hold because it's just how steep of a bend there is here. So for example, I've got this level that has a little hook cut out here or a little hole cut out for it for a hook, but that does not fit through here. As you can see, it gets hung up uh, because this hook can't make the turn through there, it just doesn't work with this. Uh, it would either need to be more of a U or more of a rounded hook rather than this very uh, distinct hook with a flat level spot on it. Um, for some applications, that's gonna be great. For some applications, that's gonna be a drawback. Obviously, you can get out your angle grinder and then taper this back if you want to be able to change that shape of the hook for to be able to hang something like, for example, this level that doesn't work or maybe a yardstick or something else that you want to hang, or other level that you want to be able to hang up. So just pay attention to the shape of that. And obviously if you don't like the shape, you could also replace it with something else by uh, loosening the screw here and replacing it with something else that's more of your liking. So like I said, I don't have the Harbor Freight. I've got the, mas the older Master Force in red. 
from and then I also have this craftsman uh, wall box and so this is going to be going on this craftsman wall box up here to be able to hang my thread checkers on and then I will be retiring this metal hook to go somewhere else on my toolbox. So then that will just hang up there and so this is how it blends in with Craftsman Red. So it's not exactly the same sh shade as Craftsman Red. But just for reference, this glove holder here is a U.S. General Harbor Freight Red. And the shade is off by just a little bit. Obviously this is plastic and that's metal. So you expect there to be a little bit of a difference. And there we go. There's the hook in all its glory. Questions or comments about this, put it down below. Any other thoughts or opinions or other ideas, love to hear about it. If you like this kind of videos, give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a great day. Bye.